Jane with Partners Trust in Brentwood, and I am here at a little hidden sanctuary uh, in the middle of downtown Westwood that not many people know about, but that my friend Allison told me about. And just so you know, it's a cemetery, a mortuary, that is right behind the Avco Theater that you would never find because you actually have to pretend you're going to the movies to get here. And it's located on Glendon Avenue. The first person buried here actually was Marilyn Monroe in 1962. And some of the names that are here are Farrah Fawcett, just recently, Rodney Dangerfield, Mel Torme, Janis Joplin. Uh, the name and the list go on and on, and it's really a beautiful place, and uh, a place that's just in the middle of, of the city. As you see behind me, you see the Wilshire Corridor. So we are just in the middle of the city, right near the 405, right near the Westwood Village, and uh, we're going to take a look around and uh, go take a peek. As you can see, we're here at the Crypt of Marilyn Monroe. Note the lipstick uh, marks. Um, she was buried here in 1962, and the person that arranged for the um, uh, burial was Joe DiMaggio. And he chose Westwood as the resting place of Monroe's mother's friend, Grace Goddard, and Goddard's aunt, um, Anna Lower, both of whom had cared for Marilyn when she was young. Also buried here is the famous composer Mel Torme, as you can see. It says, music, the greatest good that mortals know in all of heaven we have below. So he is here, um, buried in 1999, and right next to him is Truman Capote. So we've got an amazing group that's been buried here in this amazing um, cemetery in the middle of Westwood. And just as a way to honor all these great, great artists, um, I would suggest anyone come here and take a look around. You'll be absolutely impressed in every way.